Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix. Elden Ring is crashing, it is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix a step. So let's dive into the work now. The first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to start with a simple restart. So to do this, just go over here in the game, click on the start icon, go over here and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and we have to check. This is the first step. Next one, we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So we just need to navigate to the installation folder. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties. Now from here, go to installer file. And we need to cross check whether we are on the which local disk we are installed. So as we can see, I'm on local disk D. So now what I need to do is just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, I have to navigate to this PC, go to local disk D. Now from here, go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, I have to navigate to Elden Ring. Now what I need to do is just go to the game. Now from here, we have to launch the game. So try launch the game from here. That would be working in most cases. So after launching the game from the installation folder, we need to check whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if you're having the trouble, what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about. We need to run the game as an administrator or we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So to do this, just right click over here, go to show more option, go to the properties. Now from here, navigate to the compatibility. Click on run this program in the compatibility mode and we have to set this to either first you have to try with Windows 8, go to apply or you can set this to Windows 7, go to apply, go to run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok. Once you have done with this one, just close this, go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to delete the save what game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Navigate to documents, go to my games. Now from here, you have to find whether you are having any kind of folder over here. Because when you start to play in the game, saving each level of the game, will be having a separate folder for the game. So you'll be having your folder for Elden Ring. So just delete the respective folder. And once you delete it, once you delete the folder, just go back and try to launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here. Search for the control panel. Now click on this one. And we need to go over here. Go to system and security. Go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we need to end the game Elden Ring. So just keep scrolling down and navigate to Elden Ring. So make sure if the Elden Ring is added, you have to cross check whether you put a check on both the boxes that is private and public. Over here, as you can see, you have put both the checks, both the boxes that's private and public. You're fine with that. Once you are fine with this one, we just need to proceed to the next one. And keep in mind, if you don't find the Elden Ring here, just click on the change setting. Go to allow another app, go to the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk D, go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to the common. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to the folder Elden Ring. Select this one and you have to add the key. So most probably you can add the game. And once if you add the game, just make sure that you have to put a check on both the boxes. And once you're done with this one, just go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is all about, we need to unplug all the USB devices. So if we connected with any external devices is connected, just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, we just need to try launch the game and we have to check. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration. Just click on this one and we have to go over here. Now we have to click on services. Go to disable all, go to hide all Microsoft services, go to apply and go for OK. Now do a restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is, we need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties. Now from here, make sure you have to enable the Steam overlay while in game. We just need to turn this off and we have to try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, just go over here. Give the commands of the launch option. So the first command is BX11. 
if the X11 is not working, we have to try with the X12. If the X12 is also not working, we have to try with D3, B2. So you have to try with D3, B2. So just remove everything. Once everything is removed, just close this and we have to try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to after giving the commands in the launch option, we just need to close all the overlay application. So just go over here, right click, go to the task manager. And right now, if you find things over here, for example, if these kinds of things are running, they're going to definitely, definitely point effect your performance. So just unplick everything. Once everything is successfully unplicked, just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for graphics settings. Now from here, click on this one and we have to add the game. So just click on add desktop app. Now from here, we have to go to this PC, go to lock this D, go to Steam library, Steam apps, and go to common. Now from here, go to add and ring, select the game, select this one and go to add. So once you enter, just scroll down and you will be navigated to find the game. Just go over here and expand this from the GPU preferences, change this to high performance. And once it has been set to high performance, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one and go to the advanced, go to the settings, go to the advanced once again and go to the change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk. So right now I'm going to select the local disk D because game is installed here. Now I have to go to the custom size. I need to set the value for initial size and I need to set the value for maximum size. So initial size, I need a calculator. So just type the calculator. So what I need to do is I need to type the RAM that is 16 GB multiplied with 1024. That is, I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings me 24576. So copy this value and I have to paste it. Next one that is maximum size 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and I have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 and copy this and I have to paste it. Now set every value and once every value is being set just close this and try launch the game. Still if you're having the trouble what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card. So just go over here and we need to update the graphics card. So just go over here. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both Nvidia and to the AMD. So the Nvidia users over here will be able to find the GeForce. You have to select everything. If you're on the GeForce, select GeForce. If you're on the GeForce 16 series, you have to select this one. And if you're on the GeForce GTX 1650, you have to select this one and go to the Windows 11 and go for find. And right now, as we can see, you have to scroll down and over here, as you can see, this is Windows 11. So now from here, you have to download this version and you have to download and install. It is start as a mandatory. And if you're on the AMD, so just go over here, select everything. The graphics should be selected. Go to the 5000 series and go over here, go to submit. Now from here, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can download this one. Try installing Microsoft Visual C++. That is also going to work for you guys. Just go to x64 if the system is based on x64. If the system is based on x86, download this one and install restart as a mandatory and try launch the key. The last two steps or couple of steps that one among them is we need to do a verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, go to the installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. This is going to cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So just wait for this one to get completely done. And once afterwards, I'll be going to show you a bunch of steps as well.
Now, as you can see, all the files are successfully validated. So just close this and try launching the game. Stay fair and the trouble, you can try uninstall and reinstall the game. Just go over here, go to manage and uninstall the game. And you have to reinstall it back. But should not be installing it back on the lock this D. But you have to try either E or you have to try C. So these are the steps. And if you find this really helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on these kind of videos. Any doubts can be asked in the comment section. And don't forget to visit our website, gameserrors.com. That's it. Bye.